Welcome back, this is the Amberjack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger KF West London Suicidal. And uh, today we're going to be having shorter episodes again, um, because I'm irresponsible, and I, uh, I let it go on too late, so now it's really late, and I have to record, so I'm having to whisper, which is why my voice sounds off right now. Um... So yeah, we'll just have to put up with that. Um, I'll, I'll do it better tomorrow. Um, yeah. It just kind of sucks. What happened? Well, I uh, I bought a, um, a wild totem in Maple Story, And that's like a two hour commitment because it only lasts for two hours. And then it's gone. And I did that at seven. And then I was like, oh wait, crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a two hour commitment, I just like forgot, um, and uh, so I ended up using that, and then here I am recording, but now it's too late, so I have to whisper, and uh, yeah, I'll just, in the future I'll just make sure that I don't do that again, <laughs> make sure I get it recorded sooner, but for right now it's just, you know, what we gotta do, so. We take what we can get, and what we can get right now is not very good, <laughs> so... You're mostly going to be hearing a bunch of button ammo? pressing, which is present in all of the videos, but especially when I'm being quiet. This cat's it's particularly time. noticeable, Make I'm sure. I have to like sit in an uncomfortable position too, Difference. it's terrible, and it's like... I just did a yesterday, I think I forgot to talk about it, but I had to move my car because the insurance was up. Um, and I'm not putting the insurance back on it, so I had to move it off of the road and into the driveway to like, less convenient, but less out of the, like, less in the way. So if it, it's less likely to get hit by a car or something like that and be uninsured. Um, um, but it's been snowing lately, and my car was completely snowed in, completely snowed in, so I had to, uh, shovel it out, and then, like, where it was going was also covered in snow, so I had to, to shovel that out as well, and all in all, it took about an hour, and that was with my whole family coming out to help. To, to also be shoveling and like stuff and then my car's battery was dead so <laughs> we had to like jump it and then yeah it was it was it was an event so I'm, I'm a little bit sore right now um and uh i'm having to sit in an uncomfortable position so it's not very good for my back but you know it is what it is I want to get healing, but Ooh, yeah. the stupid syringe only recharges from the, it's like an oxygen injection, it's just extracting it from the air or something, I don't know, man. Rock and roll. Buy more ammo, you're running low. So that's what I did yesterday, it was terrible. That was my Valentine's Day. How'd yours go? Was it good? You have a good Valentine's Day? Did you shovel a bunch of snow? I don't like Valentine's Day. And it's almost for the same reason that a lot of people don't like Valentine's Day. I don't, I don't not like Valentine's Day because I'm lonely, because I'm single, you know, like whatever like deal with it it's it's a day like any other you know like who cares but so many people go absolutely mad when valentine's day comes around and they just start they just go mad and they're like you know happy singles appreciation day happy you know 
all this kind of stuff, just like drawing so much attention to the fact that they're lonely. And I'm like, I, I get it, <laughs> you know, like, you need to see a therapist is, is basically the way that it goes. Um, because your, your loneliness is starting to become a, a problem for yourself and others. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe seek some, some professional help. But it's just, it's so annoying when, uh, when people go on about Valentine's Day, about how much they hate it because they don't have a partner. I'm like, yeah, just like, don't, you hate other people's birthdays too? Like, <laughs> come on, you know, on, on my birthday, you're like, oh, well, you know, it's great for you, but, you know, how about happy everybody else day too? Like, just come on, dude. Now, you know, Valentine's Day ain't about you if uh, if you ain't about Valentine's Day. So just, um, you know, live your life. And I mean, I get it to a certain extent. Because on Valentine's Day, you know, like everybody's reminding you that you're lonely and there's always this expectation to have a date and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. Just like... This cat's back in the game. Stop complaining so much. It just, it gets, like, I see more complaining than, like, normal Valentine's Day propaganda. You know? And it's just like, come on. Can we, can we be, like, good about this, please? I beg of you. I beg of you. People find anything to complain about, though. You know, like, they just... There's always gonna be people whenever you're in a... Alright. <laughs> sure. Just kill themselves. Sounds, sounds good. You know, whenever you're in a group of people with, like... You know, if you're, like, a, a guild or a clan or a discord with, like, you know, hundreds, thousands of people something there's there's always going to be people who will be complaining about something it's not always it's not always the same people it's, you know it's maybe somebody else that has something that's wrong with something else like right now i'm complaining about some um, how annoying people that complain about valentine's day are and there's probably other people out there who are like i just hate how other people get so annoyed at the people who get annoyed at valentine's day and i'm like you know it's fair it's acceptable it's reasonable i accept it but i'm still annoyed so I don't know. I, th I think at the end of the day, what you gotta do is you just gotta accept that people have their grievances. And some people have their, their problems, their issues, and, you know? Just kinda put up with it. And in a similar sense to the people who have to just put up with Valentine's Day, you know, not being a, a day for them, I just have to put up with, with them. It <laughs> being not a good day for me. Um... Cause then, you know, I'm doing the same thing, right? I'm doing the same thing. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, I, I understand the, the hypocrisy here. I get it. I see it. I'm still annoyed though. I can't, I can't help that. I can't just not be annoyed. I get that it's hypocritical. You know, I think we're all hypocrites really, a little bit sometimes. Even oftentimes. You know, we all get to be a little hypocritical from time to time. Go kiss some Zeds. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with a little hypocrisy when it's not about something major. You know? It's okay. I think, I think people get too worked up about uh, hypocrites, you know? Because, like, sometimes, yeah, the hypocrites are being, like, you know, super dumb and stuff. And they're, like, patronizing people for things that are, like, reasonable. 
and then they're going and doing something that's like unreasonable, you know? And it's not like, you know, even equal, like they're just so much worse than you. But then also sometimes, you know, you're just like annoyed and you're not like, you know, gonna start calling people out on it, right? Like, like I'm not, when these people are like, you know, hey, I hate Valentine's Day because it sucks and I'm lonely. I'm not like, get over yourself, dummy. You suck, dummy. Like, no, no. You just like, ignore it and move on, right? But uh, when I when I talk in my in my like podcasty kind of thing, where all my thoughts come out, that's where it comes out. But uh, and I, it's okay to have that hypocrisy hypocrisy inside me, as long as it doesn't start to come out and start to like you know, hurt people or whatever. That's that's when you have a problem. Anyway, it's gonna do it for today, so see ya.